Hello, Leo. Welcome to your April 2023 tarot card reading. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for being here. For those of you who are new, my name is Jane. So this month is a very exciting month. Now we are going to be talking about the astrology in a separate video, just like I did last month. So be sure to check in in the next couple of days uh, to kind of get that astrological forecast update as well. This video, we are focusing on the tarot card predictions. So you are welcome to watch for either your sun, moon, or rising sign, whichever you feel compelled to do. Uh, also just to keep in mind that if you are a member on the website, don't forget to log in to view the comprehensive reading. If you're not, you can still always just purchase a one-off just like always. Uh, but if you would like to become a member, all that information is in the description box down below. So we're going to keep that short and sweet today. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you in just a sec. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your April 2023 tarot card reading. Let's go ahead and take a look here, see what comes through. We start here. Okay. There seems to be a really incredible alignment for you right now, meaning now, this may not make sense to you, but it does feel like a lot of different areas of your life. So your financial, your relationship, your friendships, your career, your spirituality, all these little different areas that are important in your life. There seems to be some kind of cohesion or some sort of like coming together with all of those things. Now, it doesn't mean that April is going to be like the best month of your life, but it might mean you feel really in a state of flow. There's a state of ease. Things do not seem overly complicated. There might not be any huge, massive issues that you have to contend with. Now we'll see what else comes out with the rest of the tarot, tarot reading. But generally speaking, I think things are like, they're going forward. And I think you feel good about it. I think you have a lot of optimism and a lot of positivity toward the future. I don't think there's any kind of room or time to be thinking about all of these, you know, unlikely scenarios. You know, you seem very present to me with this card and not, not just present, but also really connected with what it is you're doing. If you are in a situation where you are needing to make revisions in your life, this may be a good month to do that because it's not going to feel overly difficult. Okay. I really like that for you actually. Well, I like that for anybody, but <laughs> I like that for you, Leo. So let's go ahead and take a look at a major arcana card. So what is it that the universe needs from you this month? Leo chariot. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like everything is just going forward and the chariot seems to be um, like you're in your power, you feel good, you feel connected. There's also a lot of faith. Now there could be something that starts going, like let's say you've been thinking about initiating a project for a really long time. This could be the month where you're like, okay, I'm going to pull the trigger. We're going to make it happen. And everything starts moving in, in the right direction. And it could also be that something that has been going for a while, let's say your work, maybe you start finally getting recognized or you start finally seeing the kinds of results that you've been wanting to see. Now the chariot still requires a quality of humility, right? This is not about getting cocky or anything, but this is about continuing in a state of there, there's kind of feels like to me, like a state of servitude by being in this state of alignment and flow, you are serving the universe's highest good. So you are going to have to kind of stay somewhat conscious and somewhat aware of staying out of your own way, you know, and staying in this state as long as you possibly can. So let's see what's going on in the environment around you that you need to be aware of. 
What is it that Leo needs to be aware of for April 2023? We have, ooh, okay, a King of Wands, which is the Leo card. Uh, now, you may or may not be dealing with another Leo. That doesn't really matter, but I do think this is someone that can really go head to head with you wonderful person, you know, they are ambitious, they're strong, they have a sense of creation, they have a sense of duty, and they really look toward the future. And I think this is an area where, where you really shine, Leo. With Jupiter being in Aries in your ninth house specifically, you know, Leo really is going through, you know, we didn't really see the benefits of Jupiter being in Aries. I don't think up until just, just recently, middle of March, when Jupiter finally crossed over Chiron. And now you're like, wow, I, I really can see the future for myself. I do want to expand. I do want more. I do want to learn more. I want to take myself higher. And I think this King of Wands match. Uh, yeah. This King of Wands matches that energy like to a T this could be someone with whom you might be partnering with professionally or as a client. It could be someone, you know, it could be your spouse as well. Who's like really right there with you. It could be someone you are attracting into your life intentionally or unintentionally. I'm not sure, but this person is coming. Like they have a strong presence in your life. They're showing up whether you want them to or not. And I think when they do show up, if this is not in fact someone you already know, but if they do, when they do show up, I think you're going to be really kind of taken aback that this type of person even really exists. I think they remind you a lot of you and not in an egoic way, but there are a lot of qualities that, like I say, you just match. And this person can spark a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement, a lot of, a lot of just passion for the future. Okay. Let's see what else comes out for Leo. What else does Leo need to know for April, 2023? Six of swords and nine of wands has been coming out quite a bunch this month. and a five of swords. All right. So this is somewhat contradictory to a lot of the things I've already said. Now I'm not saying it fully contradicts. It's just, I was getting such a positive feeling here. And I do see that with the six of swords, this is the flow where you are moving on to the next thing. Your life is what I would say, moving with the current you don't seem to be fighting against anything right now. And yet here we have the nine of wands and the five of swords. Now, nine of wands can sometimes be protective energy. There might be something that you're needing to protect, um, whether you're protecting your time and your schedule, or you're protecting an idea or whatever the case might be. Some of you may be protecting your heart a little bit. I don't know why you feel the need to do that. Maybe it's to preserve this state of flow as much as you possibly can. You don't want anyone really to be able to interject and really stop or throw a wrench in the spokes here. Uh, when you're on a roll, sometimes it can feel like you would do anything to make sure you keep that going. So anyone who does come into your life needs to be aligned with that. It's like, well, if you're so aligned, of course, it makes sense that you would only want people that are also aligned with you. And I look at this King of Wands, I'm like, yeah, he's definitely aligned with you. Um, when I say aligned, this just means that there is no contradiction between your head, your heart, and your physical body. Your head is communicating and your heart agrees that something is good or right, and your physical body is able to actually do it or carry things out. So there's no time being wasted with like a head heart kind of battle. It's just meshing. And this is what I mean. 
you have to protect yourself and that alignment because you don't want someone who's going to come in and start questioning everything or who's going to start doubting things. And I see a lot of that with that five of swords. This, I don't feel this is necessarily you. I think this is the energy of someone else or other people. And this is what you're protecting yourself from. Five of swords people are individuals that might not really understand how to do what they want themselves. And yet they'd be more than happy to tell everyone else how to do it, even though they really have no freaking clue. Uh, they are a talker, not a doer. See, I think Leo right now is aligning with doing people, right? The doers, the creators, the producers, these are the ones that get their hands freaking dirty with stuff. They're not cr critics. They're not judges. They just do. And staying away from the critics, staying away from the advisors is going to be really, really beneficial. Okay. All right, Leo, what else do you need to know for the month? April, 2023 for Leo. Three of wands. Is it me, Leo, or does it feel like you're on the precipice of something so great? The precipice of a lot of money, the precipice of the promotion or the love of your life, getting married, having a family, living that kind of lifestyle that you're wanting to, leave, to, leave, to live, if I could talk. Three of Wands says, you, I think you've been patient, Leo. You've been patient and you've been doing the work and you've been keeping your head down and staying busy and doing what you know to be best for you. I feel that there's, for some reason, I know he's out here looking at the ships over here, but I actually kind of feel like he's up there looking at the stars in the sky. He's sort of connecting with the cosmos right now. He knows those ships are coming in. And while he sits and waits for those ships to come in, in the meantime, he is connecting with the divine. And with that hanged man, there's not a lot you can do. Actually, that's not, I feel like there's not a lot you want to do. Like it's almost as though you are voluntarily tying your hands behind your back because you're like, you know what? I'm finally in a good place. I'm finally in a situation where things are working for me and I don't want to change it. I don't want to rock the boat. There does seem to be a carefulness with this Leo. Um, you're being careful to not rock the boat, but it's not out of fear it's again, out of protection, nine of wands, you're protecting something that's good and the things that are working in your life. You want to dedicate more and more time and energy and effort and money and whatever other type of investment is required into the things that are working. I feel with that hanged man, you are going to have some kind of an epiphany this month. With that halo around his head, you are certainly coming into a new level of consciousness, a new level of understanding with something. And this, this seems to be that moment, like that magical alchemical moment when knowledge transitions into understanding. And that is such a beautiful moment. And, and once you learn this, or once you fully understand how to keep living your life this way, the way you live your life from this point forward will feel forever be altered. Six of coins, things are balancing out. I feel your internal state of being 
right? Law of attraction, we always say, you know, our desire, our emotional state, our mental state, all of these have an effect on our external world or on the creation of our external experience. And because you are in such a great, now I'm not saying all of your lives are perfect. Please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. This is not about perfection and this is not about being in a state of ecstasy 24 seven. Okay. This is about just being really good with yourself. And when you are really good with yourself, and like I say, there's no head heart battle going on. This is when real magic happens and see, it's no wonder that this King of Wands is coming in now or having a presence in your life right now, because you're finally so good with yourself. Six of coins, your external world starts to show and reflect back to you exactly what you are. And I think you're going to see a lot of peace. Some of you might introduce new love. Some of you might introduce more money and it's not money that is hard work. It is not money that is, you know, requires you to go out and do all these things or requires you to go get certified in X, Y, or Z or whatever. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's money that's coming from, that's like additional from exactly what it is that you're doing, who exactly you are. It's just more confidence has the potential to be boosted. Now, this is, this is the only worry that I have that five of swords. It does feel like another person who is trying to come in and infiltrate this wonderful little bubble that you have going on. So let's see what else we have. The star beautiful. We have the emperor. So the emperor is both you and the king of wands, because this is a Leo card. So it's kind of like you and the other person is what I mean. You, you definitely see a lot of yourself in this other person or see a lot of them in you, however way you want to look at that. Of course, the star is, well, I said alignment. Uh, I feel like you've kind of found your North star to a degree. And this does not have to be so magical by the way. Okay. Like the, the, the star card does not mean that you finally found that dream job or, you know, you, whatever. Sometimes we make, make, sometimes I, maybe not you guys, but I know I make this so magical sometimes, but I don't think it feels that magical. It just feels good. And I don't know, maybe that is the magic. I'm not sure, but it's, it's not some profound moment in time. I think in fact, it feels very grounded and it feels normal and it feels just like the way it's supposed to feel. Like I, I would say, actually, this is what quote unquote normal would feel like, you know? The star makes you feel like you are connected. And like I said, up here, I feel like he's kind of looking at the stars up here, convening with the cosmos. The heel, the star brings a lot of healing, brings a lot of hope and optimism, brings a lot of reason to keep really looking forward. And there are a lot of wishes that comes true with that star. With the emperor, this is what I mean by confidence boost. Like there's a confidence boost. You feel, I love when an emperor comes out with a chariot card, by the way, because it feels like you're on the throne and no one can really dethrone you here. You are well in control of yourself. You're in control of your mind. You're in control of your choices and your actions, and you're not getting fooled by anybody. 
And I look at this emperor as someone else and I say, wow, like if this is, if this is an as above, so below mirroring situation, the fact that this king of wands emperor individual is coming in or, or you're having a really good relationship with this person right now, if this is a, uh, you know, a pre-existing connection that you have, the fact that this relationship seems really good right now is a reflection of just really, again, how good you are with yourself. And I think they are probably really good with themselves too. I feel that that's recognized within two people. If I'm good with me, I can tell if you're good with you. Now, seven of coins suggests you're kind of at this plateau. And you know this, and this is what Jupiter and Aries is really showing us right now. It's not that you're not grateful and appreciative of everything that you have and everything you've been able to do and all the people and everything, but you have hit this moment in time where you're just simply ready to experience a new growth spurt. And with this new understanding that's coming through with this hanged man, you know, of how to be coherent, head, heart coherence with this new understanding, you're like, wow, if I can just maintain this internal state, even when I'm experiencing a full wide range of emotion, emotion is, doesn't matter. It's like, can I keep this coherence? If I can, I can really just blossom out in a, in a really big way, actually. And I am feeling increase for Leo, at least for many Leos out there. I'm feeling increase of something good. You're appreciative. You're grateful of everything that you have and everything you've been able to do but you're starting to realize that now is time to leverage all of that past experience into something greater. And actually I feel this King of Wands inspires you in so many ways to go do that. This might have a lot to do with the fact that we've got Pluto in that seventh house. We've also got Saturn in the eighth. A lot of interpersonal relationships are going to be life-changing for Leo over the next few years as Saturn traverses the eighth. Intimate, deep relationships can completely change your life. And for, for those of you who are in a state of coherence, it could be for the better. Just because Saturn is coming through a difficult house doesn't mean he's going to rip your life to shreds, okay? He can also bring you into deep, wonderful union with the deepest aspects of yourself to give you a great deal of strength. The eighth house is really where our internal duality ceases to be and we merge. So maybe you're getting a little taste of that right now. Okay. Let's pull out the clarifiers. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, the clarifiers are the cards we will talk about in the comprehensive reading. The links for all of that will be found in the description box and the comment thread down below. Um, let's go ahead and we usually talk for another 25 to 30 minutes about all these cards. So it's like a whole second reading basically, and we can get a lot more detailed sometimes. So we're going to start by clarifying the chariot. What else does Leo need to know about this chariot card? Okay, we have the queen of coins offering stability and practicality. Another, well, not another, but two of wands. Two of wands and three of wands to me are often quite similar. And a wheel of fortune. Positive increase in the environment. Another seven of coins. Queen of Cups and an Eight of Swords. Okay. Where is my other deck? There it is. Okay. Six of Swords. So we need to clarify the Six of Swords. What else does Leo need to know about the Six of Swords? 
we have the Ten of Wands. Page of Coins. And Four of Cups. Two of Swords. Six of Wands. Six of Coins. Another Six of Coins. Things are evening out. Eight of Coins. Ten of coins and the oh, I love the star so much. And you got two star cards. A page of cups here. And judgment. King of cups. Strength. Tower. Whoops. We're going to take the page here, page of swords, and then we'll take the queen, ten of cups, and then this last one here, four of coins. Okay. So for this star, high priestess, there's something so quiet and just like really knowing on Leo's part right now. Quiet and knowing. It's a powerful place to be. Eight of Wands. Oh, I love that with a Wheel of Fortune and a star. It's a great combination. Oh my gosh, and another Wheel of Fortune. I don't know, Leo. I think good things are happening a lot faster than you realize. Another hanged man. I don't even mind the hanged man. <laughs> I really like it. Another justice card. Actually, I said another. I don't think, I think that's the first one. I don't know why I said another. Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. The Six of Cups. And last but not least, a Knight of Cups. Okay, Leo, this is where we're going to pick up in the comprehensive. If you want to join, you guys know I love you. Have an amazing month, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.